excerpt from the Texas Instruments TMS 320C67 4X Mega Module. On request, kind of, from one big as he snow. <laughs> this device supports the static power down feature from the C67 4X Mega Module. The TMS 320C67 4X DSP Mega Module Reference Guide describes the power down control in more detail. Static power down. So, the PDC initiates power down, clock gating, of the entire C67-4X mega module and all internal memories immediately upon command from software. Static power down, clock gating, affects all components of the C67-4X mega module and all internal memories. Software can initiate static power down by way of a register bit in the power down controller command register, the PDCCMD, of the PDC. For more information on the PDC, see the uh, TMS320C674X DSP Mega Module Reference Guide. Which brings us to the Bandwidth Manager or the BWM. So, the Bandwidth Manager provides a programmable interface for optimizing bandwidth among the registers or requesters for resources, which include the following. Uh, EDMA3 initiated DMA transfers and resulting coherency operations. DSP subsystem IDMA initiated transfers and resulting coherency operations. Programmable cache coherency operations, which include block-based coherency operations and global concern <coughs> coherency operations. Uh, CPU direct initiated transfers, which will include data access like load and store and program access. The resources include the following, L1P memory, L1D memory, L2 memory, resources outside of the C67-4X mega module, external memory, on-chip peripheral, and registers. Since any given requester could potentially block a resource for extended periods of time, the bandwidth manager is implemented to assure fairness for all requesters. The bandwidth manager implements a weighted priority-driven bandwidth allocation. Each requester, EDMA3, DSP subsystem, IDMA, CPU, etc., is assigned a priority level on a per-transfer basis. The programmable priority level has a single meaning throughout the system. There are a total of nine priority levels where priority 0 is the highest priority and priority 8 is the lowest priority. When requests for a single resource contend, access is granted to the highest priority requester when the contention occurs for multiple successive cycles, a contention counter assures that the lower priority requester gets access to the resource every one out of n arbitration cycles where n is programmable. A priority level of negative one represents a transfer whose priority has been increased due to expiration of the contention counter or a transfer that is fixed is the highest priority transfer to a given resource. And if you'd like, I can go on and talk about the internal DMA or the IDMA controller, but I'll save that for another time. 